Hello everybody. I have two CAN modules. The speed of the LED I can control with this uh, potentiometer. Now going this side, make it faster. Tiny delay, faster. Going other side, slower. I have also done with four modules. This will transmit and this will receive. This will only receive for this message. So going back very fast, going higher, slow. Faster, 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 very fast. Slow, slow, very slow. This will transmit, this will receive. Let's see. Going backward. Faster, faster, faster. Going the other side. Slow. Let's get started with only two modules. The module I'm using is here. Let's zoom in and see. Maybe other side. Here. The wiring diagram is here. Let's zoom in. For the transmitter, I got the potentiometer. One side goes to ground, other side goes to 3.3 volt. Middle go to B1. And for the CAN module, it's connected like this. VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground, CTX to B9, CRX to B8. The other module also connected exactly like this. And both uh, CAN module, CAN H, CAN high connected together, CAN low connected together. This is the way the data transmission occurs. And both end you should have 120 ohm resistor. The wiring connection is here. The potentiometer is connected here and the CAN connection to the STM32 is like this and it goes here. And uh, I didn't have 120 ohm resistor. I'm putting 200 ohm resistor. Testing purpose should be okay. I have two twisted pair and same setup, similar setup here. Now we connect the ST-Link to this module with the potentiometer. I have opened the cube ID. If anybody know, doesn't know how to work with cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click File, New, STM32 Project. For the commercial part number, I put F103C8. This is for the blue pill. Next. Uh, I put can TX for the name, can give any name. We click system core, sys for the debug select serial wire. Uh, click RCC, uh, high speed clock crystal ceramic resonator. Go to clock configuration, uh, change this to 72 megahertz. Now we go to pinout on configuration. Um, for the potentiometer ADC, we use analog ADC1 and uh, we check the in 9 in 9 for the PB1. And uh, uh, con configuration parameter setting, uh, continuous conversion mode, we make it enabled. Uh, now we can click connectivity, can and we make it activated. Configuration parameter setting. We get uh, uh, board rate according to the distance you want. Um, we use this prescaler and these two uh, time to get the requ required uh, board rate. So I have 72 megahertz. So I used 72 here. You can use any number. So make it easy. I make it 72. And this one I'm going to change it to 2, uh, 225,000 bits per second. And uh, the CAN, uh, this one is sharing with the USB, so I'm going to change this to this one, PB9, CAN TX, so both of them will change. And uh, NVIC setting, uh, I use 5 for 1, so I use this one. This is for 5 for 0. Um, and then clock configuration. There's a error problem here. Here there's a 
clock issue so because this is the one giving the problem so i use uh, divide by six so now it's gone now we can click save to generate the code for simplicity i have given the code in my website link is in the description below this is the one uh, diagram is here this is the for the transmitter module the setting is here we have done just make sure everything correct uh, the code user code 0 we copy from here to here copy it and we go to cube ID uh, we paste it 0 and user code 2 we copy from here to here we paste it user code 2 and in the loop while loop we copy from here until here so we paste it here now we can save so what's happening here is in the user code 0 I have uh, the value for the potentiometer and uh, some variable uh, I am transmitting 8 bytes my name is Nisar and uh, there are 3 more bytes for 8 bytes you don't you don't need 8 bytes you, for the potentiometer value value you need only 1 byte but to make to demonstrate demonstrate I tr transmit this one and uh, user code 0 we start the ADC for the potentiometer and start the CAN and uh, this is the I am um, data length I use 8 bytes and this is the ID I am using the ID it can be from 0 to 7 FF this is the decimal number you can use any number uh, between this I'm using this one um, in the receiver we use same number to filter it um, for the, the loop I pull for conversion and get the read value from the ADC the ADC value is from 0 to 4095 but the, uh, the to transmit in the can transmit uh, it the maximum is 255 for one byte so if you divide by 16 we get this range so the way here I'm using this method to divide by 16 it's same as like this so it divide by 16 and then put into the last byte in the data the seventh byte is the eighth last byte and then I transmit and one mil one second delay so now we saved and we upload the code if your board has cloned chip and I give the link in the description how to upload the code and we click OK yeah it's uploaded now we remove the ST link from this module and plug into this one in the cube ID we can close this project close and then we open a new project file new stm32 project put the same name f103c8 so one uh, name I put can rx now we can click system core this debug serial wire and RCC uh, crystal ceramic resonator and go to clock configuration we change this to 72 pin out of con configuration connectivity can activate it uh, we do the same parameter setting um, 72 it has to match each other then only it will work um, this one too so 125,000 bits per second and NVIC setting, we tick this one for 541. RX1 is 541, RX0 is 540. Um, now we change this one to, to CAN TX and this one change. And also PC13 for the LED V GPIO output. Uh, that's all the setting. We can click save and then we go to the website and copy the code we go below 
from, from here uh, the queue by resetting is here we done all of them yeah uh, code in the zero you saw code zero we copy from here to here go to user code zero we paste it and then user code two we copy from here until here we paste it here and then in the while loop we copy these two lines and we paste it here now we can save so what's happening here is uh, in the user code 0 there are some variable the rx data we put 8 bytes and uh, whenever we put the callback from the interrupt we get the message and we get the rx data and the last byte R rx data 7 go to led delay that's the one we sent from the potentiometer um, in the user code 2 we start the can and the, the filter we use this for the filter id high the same id we use for the transmitter and the mask we put 7 ff then it will block all other uh, transceiver and only the this transceiver um, id's one will be allowed if you put zero on the other hand it will allow all the from if you have more than uh, one module it will allow all of them uh, and also you can set different mask to allow certain amount certain transceiver and block certain transceiver in the future video i will do that one and this is how we activate the uh, interrupt and the one led de delay led we got from the uh, la last byte and we delay and this is the toggle pin so this led delay it came from as i saw before from here now we can upload the code but I, I want to show you the, the my name transmitted in the uh, RX data, the NISAR. It's here. So I use the debug. Um, if you if your chip has cloned, board has cloned chip, it won't work. And you de debug in the way I get given in the description below. Uh, from here, I, I select debugger. And uh, make sure the live expression is ticked. Click OK. Click the live expression and uh, put rx data here rx data and make it smaller expand this is the data here and we click the resume button now i got the, my name is here and i z a r and dash dash this is the potentiometer value it's 65 now i'm going to rotate the potentiometer and make sure you see the value here the, this this value now I go to 0, went 4 and 5 is very close to 0. Now I'm increasing, it's going to near 255. Now I decrease again, now, as we see, can see here. Now when we stop this one, it's the code is uploaded. I have uploaded the code. I'm going back, make it slower, faster very fast slowly other side very slow thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye